Hey y'all, so as promised, I wanna do a little sh short video here to show you our uh, morning breakfast routine. What I feed the dogs uh, in the morning. I usually start the day off by, uh, by uh, making myself some coffee and uh, the dogs will come out here in the living room and they'll uh, do their thing. They're slowly waking up. But yeah, so I, I usually start off with an espresso and gets my day going. So that's what we're doing. So in the morning, I usually give them a frozen, uh, frozen steak. It's a cheap steak, and uh, and uh, and then I like uh, I do frozen because I think there's a little less risk of uh, of the meat carrying a parasite. Some, uh, a lot of parasites, if you freeze it, uh, it'll kill it. Now, that's not true for things, I think, like cystocercosis that have uh, the eggs that can withstand freezing. But for the most part, beef that has a worm in it, uh, if you freeze it, it'll kill the worm. And I'm saying this because I used to feed raw meat that wasn't frozen prior. And, uh, and Ozzy one time was just throwing up worms, not to gross anybody out, but... But, uh, oh, isn't that a beautiful espresso? Oof. But yeah, so, um, I like to just freeze it just to eliminate any, any risk of getting, uh, uh of getting, uh, a worm. And, and they are, they are on, uh, anti-parasitic medication, but you still don't want to introduce, uh, an infectious, you know, helminthic agent if you don't have to. So anyway, so here is a little bit of our routine in the morning. I come in here and I buy these, and I call it, these are more or less cheap steaks. So it's a big steak. It's got the bone in. And as you can see, this one's you know, a little over $4. Um, as far as steaks go, they're relatively cheap. And... Um, now what I like about this is that it has the bone in and it has the marrow. Now marrow's uh, good for them. Got a lot of nutrients in it. And this is perfect because uh, it keeps them, since it's frozen, it keeps them busy for a good at least 10 minutes. And that's usually about the time that I can slip out the door in the morning when I, get, when I head off to work. They don't even know I exist. I could open the garage door. They don't. As long as they've got this frozen steak in their mouth, they they, they just uh, ignore everything that's going on. So it gives me time to sneak out the door. And, uh, you know, they don't have to be whining and, oh, where are you going without me? So I just rinse it off a little bit with some warm water, get it out of the package. And, uh, that one's ready to go. That's got a nice big uh, mostly bone, marrow bone in there. So that's a good one. And I got one for Dolce and one for Ozzy. I usually give one to Tux, a smaller one. He's not in here right now, so... He's gonna have to miss out. I'll give his to him later. He's outside on watch duty. <laughs> so let's see. So you can see some of them have a smaller, smaller bone in the middle. Now, uh, Ozzy will sometimes he uh, he'll uh, he'll throw these up. He'll swallow these whole. So 
you know, it, it's it's okay. It's just it probably doesn't feel good sitting in their stomach. So I like to give him the ones with the bigger bones, so he's he's less prone to to chew them, to uh, swallow them. But uh, Dolce usually doesn't. She usually doesn't swallow these bones. Occasionally she will, and and it's fine. Now I'm sure y'all have heard uh, with bones, you don't ever want to give a dog a bone that's been cooked because it can splinter more easily. It won't pass through the GI tract as easily as a, a raw bone will. A raw bone is more smooth and it just passes right through the GI tract without risk of puncturing uh, the mucosal lining uh, of, the, of the gut lining. So. So that one has actually more meat on it than this one, but well, let me show you how this goes down. Ah, Ozzy, come, come, come. Ozzy, come see. Mm, look what I got. Come, come, come. You want some? Ozzy, come. Don't you go? Come, 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 come. Mm. Okay, Papa. Okay. Come on. Sit. Sit. Good boy. You should make him sit. Oh, good boy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then he comes over here. Oh, I was going to tell you. So these... Um, come on. Come over here, baby. These covers of these dog beds are removable. But and so that I don't have to wash them. Take them off. As often, come, 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 come over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually put that more, uh, that that cover down so it's, it's easier to wash it. Good boy, good boy. And uh, and then I can just throw that in the wash. Dolce, come, 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 come. Come on over this way. Come, come, come. Good girl. Dolce, Dolce. Um, Dolce sometimes can take it or leave it, you know. She she eats a lot of her kibble, though. She probably eats more than Ozzy does. Good boy. Good boy. And so, uh, you know, sometimes she doesn't even... Oh, well, they're being camera shy. Sometimes, sometimes she doesn't even take it. So if she doesn't want it, I'll just put it back in the freezer. But, uh... She, she was actually up earlier this morning running around. There was someone out in the backyard, so she's probably more tired. She'll get hers later. But yeah, so that's our routine in the morning. And uh, today's actually a weekend, so we're just going to relax, do some yard work. And uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that With uh, as far as their, their breakfast goes. Uh, it's, it's great. It lets me get out the door in the morning. And, um, you know, it's it's just actually pretty good for them. Uh, yeah, a lot of people ask, I think someone asked recently, have you ever thought about doing a strictly raw diet? And I think that a, a strictly raw diet is, is good in a lot of ways, but you have to do it right. Uh, for example, uh, if you don't have the right mix, of of organs you know to meat to to bone then you you're at risk for some uh, nutrient deficiencies such as like taurine you know a lot of dog food is, is supplemented with taurine uh, which you know can be um, deficient in some dogs just as an example um so so you want to make sure that you do it right, and and uh, and, I, and I have thought about it. It's just that I, ha I don't really have the time right now um, to to really to do it or the storage. I mean, I, I got decent storage in that freezer, but uh, I don't know. Ozzy, uh, one day I'd like to do it. You know, when I got a little more time. Uh, so, but. But yeah, so uh, 
right now we're doing just kind of a, a mix. So like I say, uh, I do the frozen the frozen beef in the morning, and then in the evening I, I supplement their kibble with some uh, cooked uh, boiled chicken tenders. And uh, so far, that's been pretty good. That's been working for them just great. And they, uh, they've been pretty healthy. Their weight's good, good energy. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's our routine. And uh, shoot me any questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and, uh, and I'll be doing another video here a little later. So y'all have a good day. Talk to y'all later.